So, on today's great debate, coming out this weekend, actually in South Africa, are two films, which is Detective Pikachu, which I believe is already out, like, everywhere else, and John Wick 3. Parabellum. Parabellum. Yeah, that that is, I, I've been informed, also coming out next weekend, so probably Avengers Endgame won't be the top of the South African box office for no. the first time in a bit of a while. In a bit of a while, yeah. Uh, one of those will take it. Detective Pikachu versus John Wick. I wonder who would uh, win in a fight. That would be a good crossover well, film. Well, that would be an excellent crossover film. They, they can, you should... imagine, can you imagine... <laughs> Det- okay, so just hypothetically speaking, okay. John Wick's Pikachu or John Wick's Pokemon gets murdered, <laughs> and then Detective Pikachu teams up with John Wick to go and and and, and get into the underground oh, yeah. of New York. How sick oh, would that would, be? That would be awesome. You just replaced the the puppy with a, a with Pikachu the, with the Bulbasaur. Be, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Bulbasaur. Yeah. You could kill one of those. No yeah. one cares. No, or no one better, cares. a Mister Mime. Although it'd be slightly unrealistic that that he would be trying to get revenge for it because no, sure, everyone wants it dead. Yeah. 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 Um, but in many ways, the nineties is all coming back this Friday. Uh, Keanu Reeves, 90s action star, has had a bit of a revival with his role in John Wick. And and uh, it was a bit of a sleeper hit as well. Like It sort of came out and everybody was like, hang on, this is actually a really good film. It was around about when John Wick 2 came out that I even noticed the series right. existed. Okay, yeah. no, so I, w- I actually went and watched it live and because okay. I, I, I'm a massive Keanu Reeves You were on fan. the set? Okay, cool. <laughs> no, I went, <laughs> I went and watched it whilst it was still in the cinema. And, uh, and, and I came away walking, well, I walked away with this feeling of like, all right, cool, this is, this is, this is going to hmm. be cool. Then they announced the second one, and I, just from the trailer, I was like, yeah. all right, cool, this is done. Well, well, there there are lots of other people from the '90s who who could have a revival. Yeah, I, I reckon we could sort of pick who the next Keanu Reeves needs to be. Who who deserves the John Wick moment? So so the so to to describe the the parameters to this debate, we're t- we're taking a '90s star, not a '90s character. Right. Yes. That needs, a, that needs a reboot. You know. So so like uh, John needs Travolta to come back, was yeah. really popular in the '90s. Didn't do that much in the noughties, Um And like he needs a, a, a comeback, but not John he Travolta. Could, not John Travolta. He yeah. doesn't. He did Gotti too recently, and yeah. we need to get over that. Yeah. Um, have you got any ideas? Any yes. Candidates? No. 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 Mine is mine is fairly obvious. Okay. Um, <laughs> because I feel as though this particular person has been focusing too much on on uh, directing and and uh, and producing films. Um, I've gone with the owner of Plan B Productions. I've gone with Brad Pitt. Okay. Wow. When you said fairly obvious, I was like, he's gone Bruce Willis, but no, Brad. No, no, Bruce Willis can. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no. the Die Hard films came out like some of them were in the nineties. Yeah, but he anyway. hasn't stopped making bad films. That's like, true. In the nineties, he started making bad films, and everybody's like, "Oh, okay, cool. Well, this is Bruce. This is like the Bruce Willis it's, thing." He's been that... fairly consistent. Brad Pitt is going to be in a Quentin Tarantino film yes. pretty soon. Yeah, but this is the perfect way to revive your career. Right. Yeah. Because he really, you know, the, the 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 last sort of major film that he that that he actually had a role in um, that that did anything was Twelve Years a Slave, and that was two thousand twelve. And to say that he was, you know, the person in that movie who mattered the most would be a bit of a stretch. No, yeah, absolutely. He was in yeah. it. That he is about it, all yeah. you can say about him. Um, so he's been producing quite a f- quite a few films. His, his yeah. production company has done a lot uh, recently. He's also done a whole bunch of charity work. But I can only imagine Brad Pitt in a suit like he was in, in Ocean's Eleven or Ocean's Twelve, mm, and, uh, yeah. and just just running around blowing stuff up. Another like, Ocean's franchise film. Do you think they could do that with uh, what's it called? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's the new Quentin Tarantino film. Yeah, it? I think. But yeah. this, I think this is a perfect springboard for him because like he's he's starring opposite um, Leonardo DiCaprio. It's a Quentin Tarantino film. And I imagine Samuel L. Jackson is in it somewhere, so it's going to be okay, a massive. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a massive hit, right? And they could do a part two. It's not like Quentin Tarantino's never done that before. There you go. He doesn't normally do it, but he yeah. could. Yeah. Well, I've gone uh, in a slightly different direction, and it's a bit of a technicality because only the sequel was a '90s film. But Linda Hamilton, who of course plays uh, Sarah Connor in the Terminator franchise. Okay. All right. Yeah. This is cool. Um, it's just by technicality. Yeah. She's not a 90s action star. Terminator 2, uh, Judgment Day, did come out in 1991. Yeah, but she I didn't checked. go on to. She didn't go on to do she anything. She did any nothing more else. Yeah, she she exactly. Did not, so she is uh, way overdue for a comeback. Right. So one film does not make a star. Right. But she is a star. I feel like Sarah Connor is a pretty big character from the 90s, and also she she is in the the weird reboot thing that James Cameron is working on again. So. Uh, as per, you know, fans' ravenous demands for more Terminator, James Cameron is bringing out a little bit more of it. Well, She's he's got to bring out it. something because both of his massive box office hits are, on, are now sitting in a pile of rubble after Endgame. Look, Avatar 
2 is going to be postponed until the end of time. He's going to keep working on that yes. until he retires, and then yes. he's going to give but, 100 hours of just blue people dancing to Disney at the I, end. I, I, I appreciate that, but, and, but he's also probably going to wait until there's some technology that gets implanted in your brain that okay, allows yeah. you to like experience movies wherever you are in the world. Um, so that's going to be quite a, quite, quite a while away. But they have released away. some set photos, which means it's happening. And you know who she looks exactly like? Who? Uh, Linda Hamilton. She looks exactly like old person squirrel girl from the weird time traveling comics they okay. did for her. I'm going to walk away <laughs> from this debate right now because Which the, w- I think yet again, the ideal way to reboot her, if not Terminator 17 million. Yet again, Greg <laughs> has found a way to bring back Squirrel Girl into these debates. So purely based on that, I'm, 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 I'm taking this one. Okay, look, I feel I like I won this debate. I feel Squirrel like if Squirrel Girl, Girl is... came back, she would like if she came back in a Squirrel Girl okay, series. Let me just ask you. Let me just ask you. Take the world by storm, John Wick style. Let me just ask you this: uh, Would you agree that the majority of the of, of the biggest sort of Marvel characters were in uh, were, were, were were in Endgame? I mean, almost all of them. Yeah. Right. Okay. Except for the mutants, except for like Wolverine and that sort of thing. But that's a different. Except franchise. for Adam Warlock. Right. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Squirrel yeah, Girl. Yeah. Right. So, was uh, Squirrel Girl in 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 Endgame? Spoiler alert. No, she was not. Right, there you go. Done. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Brad Pitt can have his comeback. Okay, there we go. Uh, 